Hey students, in this tutorial we're going to look at adding to our existing level blueprint to make it a little bit more useful. So you can see I've played around with some of our objects and created at least uh, two different sort of platforms that I can now get to with my uh, moving platforms. Uh, one other thing that I need to do is I need to select my trigger volume here that lets us respawn and I'm just going to make it significantly bigger. Uh, I think I'm going to go to like 12,000 on the Y and maybe like maybe another 12,000 on the X just so it's like big and it covers the entire level so I can't miss potentially. Now the next thing I'm going to do is basically if my player gets across this platform and gets to this gold one, I want there to be a checkpoint. So I'm going to add another volume another trigger volume. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the geometry editing tools to resize it to fit my platform. I don't want to go all the way to the edge because otherwise a person could just jump at it, barely touch it, and then respawn on the platform. I'll get close. And then the next thing I'm going to do is rename it just so it's easy, instead of calling it trigger volume two, I'm gonna call it checkpoint one. And with checkpoint one selected, I'm going to go back in to my level blueprint. Here we have our existing programming, it saves our start point as respawn location. And if I fall off and hit the trigger volume, then I will go to the respawn location. So I'm going to right click and choose an add an event for checkpoint one and it's collision on actor begin overlap. So when I overlap the checkpoint, what do we want to happen? Well, we're still going to cast to third person character like above. And again, you change this to whatever character you're using because we only want this to work if the player is what's touching the checkpoint. And then I can just drag my respawn location variable over here and choose set, because we're going to set a new respawn. And where are we going to set it to? Well, we have the trigger volume checkpoint selected, so let's click that. And I can drag from this another get actor location and connect it. Now, if I compile and go back to my game, play. If I fall off here, I respawn here. But if I make it to my platform and land and then fall off, I respawn on the golden platform. I can add another one in much the same way. In fact, I can just hold alt and copy my checkpoint here and it automatically becomes checkpoint two. I can go to my level blueprint, select all of this, control C, control V to paste. It gets mad because you can't have two of the same event, but I can delete this one, right click and choose add event, collision, begin overlap for checkpoint two, connect it over, delete this bit and add a reference to checkpoint two and my second checkpoint will work. Let's give it a go. If I fall off the rock platform, I'm back on the rock platform.